Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. I'm back from my travels. I've been in Amsterdam and I have bought myself a lot of stationary stuff, which I will do a video on later. Today I'm going to show you how collections or databases or sets work inside of any type. The reason why I am saying all of these three names is because databases inside of any type is actually called sets, not databases. And collections are something similar to databases, but they aren't databases. So you need to create a set and not necessarily a um, database inside of here. But everything revolves around uh, these um, types, any type types and I created a to-do list for this video. I've actually tried filming it a couple of times, but there are two ways to create a new type and you need to create yourself a new type in order to make a database or you can use something from the any type library if they have something you want to use. For example, your class notes or notes in general movie uh, feature, project, weekly plan, and so on, but you can also create your own. And there are two ways to do that. The first is to by just writing here. I could write to do list here and I could create a new object or if or a new type, or if I was inside of my home page or my self self care space, I could press press the plus my types to do list. As you can see, I have created a new type called to do list. This was actually from my last video, so I'm going to delete this. Then we can create a database by pressing backslash set. We will get this page. We will find ourselves the type we just created, which is called to do list. Uh, we will call this to do's and we can create our first object so mine will be answer youtube comments because that's something i'm going to do after i have filmed this video uh, then we can add a few relations so in any app where you have databases it is really important to have good relations and i will have a tag one and i will have a due date probably. There are quite a few relations inside of here already, but you could add your own. Do I have one that's called done? I don't. Uh, we will call this check box and we will create a new relation. We'll find the relation type. It is check box and Create checkbox and press create. There we have our checkbox as well. And you could continue to add and create new relations if you wanted to. I'm just going to stick with these. You could also add this to a linked project if you wanted to. So there are quite a few options and you can get quite creative with this. But I will give this a due date and I will give this a tag. So personal, social media, I have tags for different parts of my life and I use the sa same tag property across or tag relation across all of all of my um, all of my databases or sets and the terminology is quite difficult with uh, any type because they call properties for relations and databases for sets and I'm struggling uh, to get used to it but someday somehow I will. Anyways we have now created this and we have created our own um, our own database or set and I could just go on go for a walk uh, and we could give this a tag. So this would be personal. Um, we will try one more time. Personal, create, due date. We'll go for a walk tomorrow. And then you could create new views. So I want this to be a list or actually I want it to be a Kanban. And I could create myself a new 
property inside of here add relation uh, kanban tag i will call this kanban tag this will be a status property create and we will have a couple of tags here as well so to do then we have going to do or doing doing and we will have the last one called done now i have three i can change the settings inside of here and group it by kanban tag and as you can see now i have created myself a new kanban uh, view i could also create myself a filtered view to only see the things i need to do so if i go back to all i can press new filter this is quite similar to something like notion uh, you can use the checkbox or i could use the kanban tag but i will use the checkbox for now is um, unchecked so the checkbox is is unchecked you could change this inside of here as well so you could go down here press this and click checked uh, and then you can see everything disappears because nothing is checked uh, back to unchecked so this would show me uh, my to do's so you could create as many of these as you wanted to. They have gallery view as well, grid uh, list Kanban, which I already have shown you. And this is basically how you create a uh, um, database, which is called a set inside of inside of any type. Then we can go back and take a look at templates as well. So let's jump into my library again i will show you one more time you jump into your library your types and you press the type you want to create a template for i will create a new template this will be to do list and i could add different check boxes or i could actually call this weekly review because that's something i do every week so check box and then i would have a couple of subtasks which i have in my weekly review so i will make this and i will get back to you and i would basically have these things inside of my weekly review so go through your notes go through my journal move files to archive update to do's and update projects and probably update calendar as well calendar and that's basically how you create a template we can jump back into my to do's i could go into here or i could just press here um, this is actually an old one let's jump into here uh, because i have two to do's i forgot to delete this one we will move this to bin i could go through here because it is a set and these show uh, this widget shows me all of my sets or i could jump into here and go from here and now i have moved myself down here in order to show you how templates work you can press new and i could use the weekly review and i could call this weekly review week 38 just an example uh, and i could add the tags i wanted to uh, my weekly reviews are on sundays and you can open it by double clicking on it and here i have my weekly review and i could check all of these off uh, as i do them then i could finish by actually checking off the checkbox it will be gone um, and i would probably need to drag it here as well one thing i am waiting for is the ability to add uh, formula templates uh, or formula properties because we don't have formulas yet which we have in notion in order to actually automate some of the things but for now that isn't possible or i haven't figured out how to do it so that's basically how you create templates around your sets and how you create sets if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below i have 
a few any type videos on this channel so please do check them out if you want to learn more about any type and again any questions leave them down below i will get back to them as soon as i can thank you so much for watching